Hello, my name is Marcus, and this is the story of Feti Bilotti. Feti Bilotti was a Lebanese Christian whose calls for beatification opened on November 23, 1984. In the mid-20th century, Beirut was considered the jewel of the Eastern Mediterranean. With a mild climate, beautiful waters, and a vibrant culture, Beirut was a destination for vacationers seeking a relaxing getaway. Fethi was born on September the 27th, 1961, to Abud Bilotti, who was a manager of a bank, and Nelly Bilotti. Fethi would have two sisters, Gina and Nicole. The Bilottis were a Christian Melkite Greek family. The Melkite Greek Catholic Church is an Eastern sect that is in full communion with the Roman Catholic tradition. Feti would grow up during the golden age of Lebanon when Beirut was a financial, cultural, and entertainment center known to many as the Paris of the Middle East. Feti was known to be a thoughtful, pious, and compassionate child who often visited the elderly with his father. As a teen, he wrote the following in his diary. I believe in one God whom I love, the one and only great God in whom one must believe. To those who are no more, I think, to those whose life is no more a joy, I pray, to those who suffer, starve, or die, I cry for them. Children of the world, I love you. Oh my God, I love you. I swear you are great. I thank you, O oh God, for having created me, for having adorned me, and for having glorified me. Bethany viewed his life on earth as a precious gift, and that as a Christian, he was obligated to serve his fellow man. Tragically, the exterior beauty of Beirut concealed a region with deep-seated internal divisions and tension that had been simmering since it had become an independent nation. These tensions would boil over in April of 1975 with the outbreak of the Lebanese Civil War. Numerous religious and ethnic factions would form, competing coalitions that kept Beirut locked in a vicious civil war for 15 years. The worst of the fighting would unfold in Beirut and would reduce portions of a once glorious city to smoldering rubble. Fethi was attending architecture school and was on an outing to visit a classmate for New Year's in Araya, Lebanon. His parents discovered him in his car, riddled with bullets, his arm folded across his chest and a serene look on his face. After his death, his parents reported hearing his voice, smelling the fragrance of incense, and seeing a brilliant light. Since his death, apparitions of Fethi have been recorded, along with miracles of healing. Fethi was buried at the Holy Savior Monastery of Sarba in Lebanon. Fethi was declared venerable in 2019. Fethi's story is a testament to eternal youth and a testimony of Christ's love in a world turned upside down by the brutality of war. Fethi's witness of Christ's love endures and is an inspiration for many. His life was a blessing to those around him and to the whole world.